using Kitty Hawk or AirMap for Lance approval. Which one should you use and what do you do when they have conflicting information? We're gonna tell you what we're gonna do. That's coming up next. Hey guys, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you for stopping by. Today, I wanted to talk a little bit about the difference between AirMap and Kitty Hawk when you're trying to get Lance approval for your drone flights. Now, if you don't know what Lance stands for, it is Low Altitude Authorization and Notification Capability System. Yeah, that's a mouthful, but essentially what it means is this is the system that the FAA uses to let you get approval to fly in places that you need approval to fly your drone in. So basically the FAA works with AirMap and Kitty Hawk. Both of those have apps. So if you're out in the field, you're on your phone, you wanna figure out here's where I'm gonna fly. Is it okay for me to fly here? You're gonna use AirMap or Kitty Hawk to get that approval through the Lance system. It's all pretty simple. You punch in the area that you are gonna be flying in. It tells you what class airspace you're in and if you need approval. So if it's in class G airspace, you're not gonna need approval and it's gonna tell you, hey, you're okay to fly there. Uh, if you're in say class D airspace, you may need to get approval from the FAA to fly in that area. But what's really cool about it is you punch that in, you say, here is the altitude I'm flying, here's the radius I'm gonna fly in, and here is the time I'm gonna fly. And within seconds, you're gonna get a text message back from the FAA, okay, it might be minutes, but you're gonna get a text message back from the FAA uh, saying, yes, you are okay to fly in this area. So these are the two apps that most people are gonna use to get approval from the FAA to fly their drone, whether it's part 107 for professional purposes or you're just a hobbyist wanting to fly. Uh, these are both great tools to use. Now I'm setting aside all of the air map controversy uh, recently about them wanting to charge, you know, essentially encouraging the government uh, to charge for takeoff and landing of drones. I, you know, obviously that's a horrible idea altogether, but we ran into a specific situation between air map and Kitty Hawk that is causing some drama and so I thought I'd come straight to you guys and we're gonna see if we can figure it out. So here's the situation, it's pretty simple. My family and I were planning a vacation down to the Smoky Mountains uh, later on this year. And I wanna see if I can fly. Now I know the Smoky Mountains is a national park, so you can't fly, you can't take off, you can't land in national parks. But the place we're staying in is right outside of the national park. So I wanted to see if it was gonna be possible for me to fly in this area. Now, granted, this is a family vacation, uh, but you know, I never know what kind of video or stills I'm gonna use for our website or for the YouTube channel. I might even do a video while I'm there. So I just wanted to get an idea of whether or not I was gonna be able to get approval to fly in that area because I was right outside of the national park. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna open up Kitty Hawk. I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about. This is the location. I'm gonna blur out the actual address, but it's in Townsend, Tennessee, which is just outside of the Smoky Mountains. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add this flight here in Kitty Hawk, request Lance approval. So I've already got it entered in here. I'm going to go ahead and enter that location. Okay, so as you can see here, it is showing that the location that I'm gonna be staying in is in the red zone, basically saying you cannot fly in this location. All right, so I see that and I go, well, that sort of stinks. So I'll close that app and I decide to go over to Air Map. Okay, so we got air map open. I'm gonna do the same. Okay, so I type my address in there. Oh, lo and behold, what does this one say? This one says, I'm right in the middle of an area where I actually can fly. Okay, so uh, what, what happens if I, if I try to do this? So I go into it, it's showing me green right now, right? Showing me green on the screen. I say I want a 500 foot, yeah, let's say 5,000 foot radius. Let's see where that puts me. So a little bit that takes me into the red. So if I just do a little bit lower, let's get me out of that red. Let's go to a 2000 foot radius. Now I'm in the green. I'm gonna say 400 feet. Let's just say we're gonna fly right now for four hours. I'm gonna submit. My flight bin has been submitted successfully. No airspace authorizations have been requested on my behalf. Why has it not been requested? Because it's saying I am in class G airspace and I don't need authorization from Lance. So what do you do here? You've got Kitty Hawk saying, do not fly here. You're not allowed to fly. You have got Air Map saying, yep, go for it. You can fly. All right, so I'm not sure what to do. I've got some time, uh, but I decided to reach out to an FAA contact uh, that I've got. I reach out to him occasionally with questions just to get clarification on things. I explain the situation to him. I'm not gonna give his name or anything, but his response to me was, I unfortunately do not have the answer. TFRs might help or blogs. 
I appreciate your help, but that is not gonna help me much because we're not in the middle of a TFR in that location. Um, and blogs is essentially ask, telling me to go check out a blog and see if I can find the answer there. I'm reaching out to the FAA for that specific answer. Uh, so anyway, this is, a, this is a big issue. What am I gonna do? Well, I've got a little bit of time. I will continue to check AirMap until we get there. Um, I feel like I've done my due diligence. There are two separate apps, uh, both endorsed by the FAA. Uh, right now, one is saying no, uh, one is saying yes. The one that is saying yes seems pretty detailed. Whether they wanna charge me or not in the future for takeoff and landing, uh, that is beside the point. It's a horrible idea, by the way. Uh, but, uh, but AirMap is saying go ahead and fly. So as of right now, my plan is I'm gonna fly. I, I'm gonna fly because I've reached out to the FAA. They basically said like, yeah, I don't know. I have tried both AirMap and Kitty Hawk. They're giving me different information. So in this case, I feel like I've done my due diligence. I am gonna go ahead and I am planning on flying when we go down there. Uh, and we're gonna hopefully get some great footage and hopefully I won't get fined by the FAA and they'll watch this video and realize why I went ahead and flew by the Smoky Mountain National Park. Because I think I am outside of that national park and the air map map confirms that for me. So that's my situation. What would you guys do in this situation? Um, do you have different answers? Maybe I am reading this whole situation the wrong way, but let me know what you think. Give me your advice. I will update you guys in the comments below. If I hear back from the FAA, I'm gonna tag them in this post as well. Uh, hopefully somebody will get back to me with some sort of an answer. Hopefully the answer is yes, you can go ahead and fly in that area. Uh, but if they say I can't, I, I won't fly. I'll follow the rules. So, all right, guys, thank you so much for stopping by today. We will see you next time.